guys and welcome back. Thanks for joining us tonight. Feels like forever since we've actually done a vlog. We've been uh, kind of sticking around the house um, for the ones that have been watching my videos. You know we're doing a house sit, our very first house sit with a dog and a cat. And um, so we've just been kind of sticking around the house, not just because of them, but the weather has been awful. Every time we've had the opportunity to go out, it's <laughs> rained. So tonight we are bringing a backpack. We have our rain gear ready to go just in case. So we are taking you rain or shine. We are gonna go to the Bangkok, China town tonight. And yeah, I have no idea really what we'll find. I've kind of read some things about it and heard some things about it. So we are on the mission to find some good eats at the Bangkok, Chinatown. Let's go. Bangkok Chinatown tonight and we have been wanting to go here for like three or four days but it has rained every time we've wanted to come here so now we're here rain or shine we are gonna take you guys along so let's go and do a walkthrough come on let's go so when Jay and I got dropped off to come to Chinatown we got dropped off a little bit before the actual main entrance so I was like there's nothing happening here what's going on <laughs> but I think we found it finally found it so yes yeah, so we definitely found it the traffic is like gridlock here and uh, so very easy to walk around and bob and weave with the scooter but uh, yeah, it's super busy. Tons and tons of lights everywhere. And so much traffic. <laughs> the only thing that I've heard about Chinatown was this donut guy. So we are gonna get in line. This, this, uh, is this the line too for this? They're, they're both doing the same thing. There's two places that are side by side, both won Michelin awards. And we are gonna get in line and see what it's all about. <laughs> This guy cuts them all up and serves them with the yeah. oh, That's okay, you can use my stick. I do want <laughs> This guy cuts them all up and this guy doesn't. So this one they oh. come all ready to go. Alright. So I'll try this one. You try that one. Okay. 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 So this one only has condensed milk on it. Because I'm dripping everywhere. on the outside and flaky on the inside. That's what these are. Delicious. Yeah. 
the ones that Jay got are just like deep fried and the ones that I got are deep fried but then they're grilled as well so it kind of makes it a little bit more crispy on the outside I think. It actually yeah it gives it kind of a, <laughs> like a grilled flavor. My favorite. So one thing I've noticed just walking down the street here is that there's a lot of restaurants and then in front of the restaurants there's food stalls and then into the street by one lane they have a cone set out so people can actually sit in the street and eat their food. It's on both sides of the uh, street here and it is just complete chaos. <laughs> Are these just little apples? I'm not really sure what these are. Pomegranate juice, freshly squeezed. This little jug was 120 bucks. You don't see that every day. <laughs> you also don't see this every day. There were like a lot of people in line to see this guy play the guitar. I have no idea who he is. Anybody out there knows who he is? <laughs> Drop a comment. here are crazy <laughs> there's lineups for like almost every restaurant and um, Jay and I are just gonna walk up the street here see if we can find some place that's the problem with a lot of the street vendors that I find here is that there are so many street vendors but there's never a place to sit so it's one thing to get your food but it's another thing to actually find a spot to actually sit down and actually eat so we found we did find a restaurant that we might be able to get into we're just gonna keep walking and see how it is. But look at this crowd, it's crazy. bring a card my card is now full so now I'm gonna try and use my uh, cell phone but it is ridiculous here it is there's so many people and I don't know how much more of this I can take <laughs> we're still looking to find something to eat there's lots of seafood but the lineups are gigantuous and we did not wait that long I don't think to 
to get here. Yeah, it's like 20 after 7 right now and it's jam packed, like shoulder to shoulder mob. <laughs> so we're going to keep walking for a little bit and see what we see and if we find something, bonus. All right, so we ended up finding a restaurant. There's uh, nobody sitting on the outside tables, but there are a few people sitting inside. We have, I have a nice fan behind me. Take the nice and cool. She's gonna get Packer Pal. I'm getting uh, fried rice. We got a Coca-Cola and a water. And we're just gonna sit and enjoy our food. We will take some pictures when our food comes in. With it being so busy, Jay and I have found it very difficult to actually film because there's so many people and you're walking like right behind them, shoulder to shoulder, there's people behind you. Uh, there's only really one way to film and that's like up above your head in the sky so you're really not getting you know, a great idea of what this, this is all about. But it is packed Then there's rat just underneath <laughs> that went underneath that stair. Yikes! Woo! <laughs> Maybe that's why there's nobody sitting outside. <laughs> now that we've switched spots, oh my god. <laughs> I swear only in Thailand. I don't even remember what I was talking about. Rats. You said all rats. <laughs> now I remember what I was going to say. Um, I think if you want to come here, I would say come super early or really late. I don't really know what would be the better option, but I would think earlier because it'd be light out and the food would be fresher maybe. I don't really know, but we're here at 7.30 and it's crazy insane. <laughs> Alrighty, so while we we're waiting here for our food, I just wanted to let you guys know that Jay and I are going to be going off to Phuket for four weeks, and we're going to be doing a whole series about Phuket and all the beaches. Can't wait to get back to the beaches, so consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any of that content, and yeah, this place is super, super crazy. I say come check it out if you've never been, but if you don't like crowds, this is not the place for you. Alright, so, fried rice with crispy pork. Looks pretty good. Perfect. Even with the rat. You've seen me order this before. Pack of pow, pork, it's just ground pork, white rice, and an egg. It's kind of fried on the bottom so it's crispy. Look at the chilies in there. Look at this. Chilies and chilies and chilies and chilies. And this is probably probably not super spicy for the Thai people, but it's gonna be spicy for me. So you break this thing open. You break that egg in there, you get the yolk in, it makes it kind of creamy. Get some chili in there.
forget to hit the like and subscribe button. And we'll catch you in the next one. Bye, guys.